Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, one of the things that you didn't have, well, actually, you don't have in Windows 10 right now, but that will come at the end of this month is something new. And it's a switch that we have in Windows 11, actually. In Windows 11, you have that switch in the Windows updates that says you can get the latest features now. And in Windows 10, that switch doesn't exist right now because there's really no new features that were planned at some point until now we know that Copilot is eventually coming to Windows 10. But I suspect that there's going to be more because one of the interesting features I installed on the release preview, the uh, bug fixing updates that we all going to get in uh, two weeks from now. And it brings this new, get the latest updates as soon as they're available. The switch is now here. So they've added this switch to Windows 10. It wasn't there before. And that means that I suspect to add a switch like this, it's not just Copilot that they're going to push. I think that somewhere in the decision making when, um, of course, the new um, decisions are taking place because, you know, things are changing on the Windows and devices um, place in the Microsoft. I think that now they're planning to push us more than just Copilot. I think this is really what's going to happen. More than Copilot is coming. I don't think they would have added this switch just for Copilot. I think they're adding this switch because now they're thinking, well, let's push some new features to Windows 10 again. Uh, this is kind of a um, a reverse decision here, as we were supposed to be in a more quiet mode. And it could be actually bad news for Windows 10 because Windows 10 was in its quiet mode now where you just surfed on bug fixes and security updates, and that's it. And now we end up with something new and a new switch that tells us, well, we'll have new features now. So um, I don't think this is going to make everybody happy. I think it's going to make some happy. And I think this is an indication that um, that end of support date of October 2020 or November, October 2025, I think that's going to change. I don't think they would go through adding all these things for just two years left of Windows 10. So this is interesting. Uh, so you see it's here. It's official on mine. Don't go looking for it on yours as long as you don't have the uh, release preview. It will be showing up at the end of the month. Though. So everybody will be getting this at the latest on Patch Tuesday of December. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.